Across diverse human cultures, from ancient tribes to modern societies, the development of religious and spiritual beliefs has been a common thread. However, when exploring African history, it becomes evident that our understanding of African religion has been marred by misconceptions, only recently undergoing a reassessment of outdated models presented by the Western perspective. In today's video, we will explore how the Western world has fooled many about traditional African religions. The complexity of traditional African religion. Traditional African religion defies categorization, eschewing simplicity for complexity and nuance. It is a living testament to the richness of human thought, an intricate web of beliefs forged over centuries. The diversity within African spiritual systems is awe-inspiring, encompassing a multitude of gods, spirits, and practices. It is this very complexity that foreign observers often fail to grasp, leading to misconceptions and misinterpretations. Traditional African religion cannot be painted with a broad brush, as it is not a singular monolithic belief system. Instead, it is an amalgamation of beliefs, practices, and cosmologies that vary across regions and ethnic groups. From the Yoruba in Nigeria to the Akan in Ghana, each community has its unique interpretation of spirituality, with its pantheon of deities and rituals. This diversity is a testament to the richness of African culture and history. Challenging Misconceptions To truly understand the intricate tapestry of traditional African religion, we must confront the misconceptions perpetuated by non-African observers. These misconceptions often stem from a Eurocentric worldview that attempts to fit African spirituality into a Western framework. It is essential to recognize that African spirituality cannot be reduced to a mere reflection of Western religious paradigms. The misinterpretation of traditional African religion can be seen as a combination of falsehoods and misunderstandings. African traditional religion has been labeled as primitive, animistic, and non-literate. These categorizations not only oversimplify the belief systems, but also undermine the moral and spiritual dimensions embedded within them. The misrepresentation of African spirituality as less complex and contemplative is a disservice to the depth of thought and cultural richness it embodies. The concept of hierarchical monotheism. One of the most profound aspects of traditional African religion is the concept of hierarchical monotheism. This perspective challenges the Western notion of monotheism and offers a unique lens through which to understand African spirituality. Scholar Kaitizua Luyaluka posits that we cannot use Western theism as a yardstick for other religions, and he introduces the concept of hierarchical monotheism as a key to understanding African spiritual beliefs. Hierarchical monotheism suggests that many African religions have a transcendent supreme being at the pinnacle of their belief systems. This supreme being is then accompanied by an actual creator of the universe, various spirits, and ancestral intercessors, all intrinsically linked to the supreme being. This structure may evoke thoughts of the Christian Trinity, where the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are considered one. It's a fascinating parallel that challenges the notion of monotheism as solely rooted in the Abrahamic traditions. Navigating Monotheism and Polytheism Classifying traditional African religions as monotheistic or polytheistic is a complex endeavor. In the Western context, monotheism is often associated with the Abrahamic religions, such as Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. This classification has influenced the perception that monotheism is a more legitimate or advanced form of religious thinking. However, the reality is far more intricate. Interestingly, Nilotic-speaking Africans are considered the originators of monotheistic thought within their religious beliefs. However, this historical fact has often been overlooked or ignored by foreign observers. In these belief systems, a singular divinity, or God, is at the core. Divinity is metaphorically associated with the sky, and the power of divinity is symbolized by lightning. There is no separate class of spirits or deities. Instead, divinity may manifest in the form of seemingly specific lesser spirits, all considered manifestations of the singular divinity. This complex structure challenges the Western understanding of monotheism and highlights the richness of African thought. Whether a belief system is monotheistic or polytheistic may not be an African concept, but rather a Western framework that does not encompass the diversity of African spirituality. In reality, African spirituality defies simple categorization as purely monotheistic or polytheistic. African belief systems encompass a vast spectrum of spiritual entities acknowledging a supreme being while recognizing the existence of various spirits and ancestral elements. This complexity reflects the depth and diversity of African thought and life. It is essential to emphasize that classifying African religions solely as monotheistic, based on Western paradigms, oversimplifies their diverse and nuanced nature. 
African religions do not fit neatly into the categories imposed by outsiders. Fetishization and mislabeling. A significant obstacle to understanding traditional African religion lies in the historical mislabeling and fetishization of its elements. Foreign observers have turned to the widespread concept of fetish in their endeavors to understand African spirituality. This term was used to categorize and simplify traditional African deities, often carrying a negative connotation. The vast array of gods, goddesses, and spirits within African belief systems, such as the Vodun in Benin or the Orisha in Nigeria, was erroneously labeled as fetish. This mislabeling had a dual effect. It not only diminished the importance and complexity of these deities, but also branded African spiritual traditions as primitive and backward, feeding into the narrative of African inferiority. The impact of outsiders and misrepresentation. The misrepresentation of African religion has had a profound and enduring impact. Over centuries, outsiders have defined African traditional religion and imposed their interpretations on it. Concepts such as animism, fetishism, magic, witchcraft, polytheism, shamanism, idolatry, paganism, primitive religion, and ancestor worship were introduced to distance African theology from its true intricate roots. The consequence of this misrepresentation is a distorted understanding of African spirituality and religion. It has perpetuated the fallacy that African belief systems are less complex, less contemplative, and less moral and spiritual than their Western counterparts. These simplified categorizations have hindered our ability to appreciate the profound depth of thought, ethics, and cultural significance embedded within African spiritual traditions. A deeper exploration of African belief systems. To delve further into African belief systems, we must recognize the incredible diversity that characterizes these religions. The African continent is a tapestry of cultures, languages, and traditions. Each ethnic group, region, and community may have its unique interpretation of spirituality and religion. For instance, the Yoruba people of Nigeria and Benin have a rich pantheon of deities known as Orisha. In contrast, the Akan people of Ghana revere the Asante Tbui deities, such as Nyame and Asaseya. The Dogon people of Mali revere the celestial knowledge imparted by their supreme deity, Ama, and the Namo, amphibious spirits. Similarly, the Khoikhoi people of Southern Africa believe in Suigoab, the supreme being who created everything. In divination and guidance, the IFA system among the Yoruba people stands as a testament to the intricate and systematic nature of African spirituality. IFA priests, known as Babalawos, consult the oracles to provide insights and solutions for individuals and communities. Embracing complexity and seeking understanding. The future of understanding traditional African religion lies in embracing its complexity and seeking a deeper understanding. African scholars have made commendable efforts to document the diversity within African faiths and provide explanations based on their knowledge. Yet it remains a challenging task to present a comprehensive African perspective due to the intricate and stratified nature of these belief systems. The key to unraveling the rich tapestry of traditional African religion lies in transcending Western-centric paradigms and acknowledging the depth and diversity of African spirituality. It requires us to approach African religion with an open mind, free from preconceived notions and stereotypes. Only through such an approach can we hope to gain a deeper appreciation of the multifaceted world of African spirituality. In embracing the multifaceted world of African spirituality, we pay homage to the rich tapestry of human belief and identity. It's a journey that calls for open hearts and minds free from biases. As we persist in unraveling its intricate layers, let's look ahead with a shared commitment to deeper cultural understanding and respect. If you found this exploration enlightening, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Until next time, peace.